Hi Aquarius, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, we're going to look at the energy around you at this time. Could be about love, could be general. I'm going to take it as it comes. And whatever comes out, comes out. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for you at this time. And I do say at this time, do consider all my readings timeless. So if you like to go back and watch past readings, links are below the description box for your general and love playlist, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that is below in the description box. And I will pin some of that information to the top comment section also. So Aquarius, and this is for sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus, Man, woman, does it matter? Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Past, present, or future could also be. And also could be somebody, something going on with someone around you, but it could be affecting you. All right, so Aquarius. All right, I guess that's your card. It's the Zodiac Oracle. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So I have Saturn energy. So this is the energy of Capricorn. So you could have a Capricorn around you in some way. You could have it in your chart. If you're not dealing with a Capricorn in some way, shape, or form. Um, Saturn is the energy of ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And Saturn there is 19, which equals 10, which is about an ending. And then there's always a new beginning. In Aquarius, you're 11. So 11 to me is always a very spiritual number, like being on the right path, being spiritually led in the right direction. So let's see. So let's get an opening message for you, Aquarius. Opening message for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Opening message for Aquarius, and then we'll get one for your energy, and then we'll clarify that energy with tarot. And then look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, and get extra messages from the other deck. So I just got this for um, Libra. So fair. Some sort of fear at play here. But again, seven is about being, um, it's again a very divinely spiritual number. So, but there's fear of some kind. So let's see. And the Saturn does represent Capricorn, which Capricorn is the devil in the tarot. And the devil can represent uh, fear, stress, worry, anxiety, self-doubt kind of energy. And what do we have here? Well, we, I just got this for another sign also. So we have personal protection here, which is 44. Four is a double number. Four is about stability, foundation, the basis of something. And if you do add that together, it's eight. Um, eight which is about um, travel, action, communication kind of energy. <coughs> so, and I would like to apologize for the readings being late. So I've been very sick the past week with the flu. So I do still have a little bit of cough. So I may cough throughout the reading and I want to apologize for that in advance. But um, I wanted to catch up on the readings and I'm feeling better today. So let's see what's at the bottom. So we have dowry. So you may be trying to, in 62, uh, 42 is 6, which is about healing, balancing energy. So you may be building something new here. I mean, diary, a dowry can be building a nest, a foundation, building something new. It could be something in your home environment or just building something from the ground up. But this fear here and feeling like you have to protect yourself. Because we do have four there, which is about foundation, home basis but I feel like whatever you're building whatever is going on in your home trying to build your home or trying to build up your security in your home your foundation or something here you're feeling like you have to protect yourself from something and something you're fearing and it could be around a toxic energy but this personal protection does talk about being overprotective of yourself and not letting your guard down and building up a wall and not really opening up to anybody either. So we'll see how that plays out for your reading. Aquarius. So let's see Aquarius. Just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who supports the channel. Those that have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reach out for personal reading. 
Thank you, thank you for all your support. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. All right, Spirit, please. What is this energy for Aquarius? So we have the King of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy. Now, the King of Wands is usually like an entrepreneur kind of energy. They very creative. They birth something new. They go after what they want. A lot of determination, drive, ambition. Um, you could be creating something new here, like a new project, a new um, endeavor or something. Yeah, this conflict I feel around you, arguments, competition, conflict, conflict of interest, and you feel like you need to protect yourself. That fear, conflict of interest, you're fearing that. Okay. So we got the Page of Cups. So, I mean, this could be about apologies. This could be, you know, we do see three people in this card. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling like somebody is one way, may apologize or be sympathetic or compassionate, you know, to you and then behind your back another way. Oh, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got the King of Cups now. So, water energy. And the King of Cups, you know, is about love, emotions, feelings, but sometimes they're kind of stingy saying how they truly feel. I feel like somebody's not saying what they truly feel. I feel like they speak or do something one way to look one way like a loving compassionate caring person but then they're another way because now you have like nine of wands like being you know like defensive like trying to protect yourself because conflict of interest here someone could be dealing with someone who's two-faced here just saying four of cups so this is feeling blah and complacent maybe confused, but this person's in a meditative state. So I think you really contemplate over this person It's causing like a lot of conflict. <clears throat> this is somebody in like a project, a business, a work environment or a home environment. I don't know. Somebody I feel is like two faced, which causes a lot of conflict, conflict of interest, inner conflict within you. And you feel like you need to protect yourself the nine of wands here it's like that wounded warrior always in self-protection mode like thinking about it like i don't get what's going on here one minute it's like seems to be peaceful and the next minute um feeling like i have to stand up and protect myself against this person or situation or whatever here it's like they show like a soft underbelly and then they all of a sudden show their quills it's like i don't know what's going on here so let's get the situation so we have the chariot so this is moving forward a lot of drive ambition passion balance success victory strength so maybe you're trying to find inner strength and courage here to move away from this situation but if you are the king of wands energy and the creator of this, something you're trying to build, maybe you're trying to move it or move away from it, taking what you have and moving, like physically moving or moving away from this situation, like trying to find, it's almost like she's, you know, trying to find, you know, the next direction, the next place to go. Okay. Now we got the queen, queen of cups, king and queen of cups. So now we have a matching couple. So, hmm. all right, let me get a couple more here. The knight of pentacles. Right, one more. And the king of swords. So that's yeah, your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like this person shows like two sides of themselves, like a masculine energy, a feminine energy, 
like the soft, the soft and, and genuine one minute and the next minute, the kind of stern and cold. It's like, you never know how to take this person. So I think you're trying to find the strength and courage to somehow get out of this situation to go off on your own or just move away from it or just, I don't know, get them out of your energy somehow. It's like, again, having to protect yourself, putting up this shield, having to protect yourself. Now, taking up the sword here and like, maybe you may sever this tie, sever this person out of your business, out of your life, out of your home, whatever here. I think it's just causing too much drama, conflict. I think it's the Knight of Pentacles, a very slow process. All right, so I don't know. I just see you trying to get the courage and strength up to confront this person, maybe cut them out get them out, move them away, or you move away, or something here. Oh, and my cat is going to knock the camera over. So let's get some advice here. So we have the Page of Wands. It's this fiery communication, our good news coming in. Five of Pentacles, abandonment, loneliness, left out. Yeah, I think you may just all of a sudden say, hey, you know what? Bye-bye, <laughs> you're out. Bye-bye. Let's see what else. Because you see an Ace of Pentacles here in your, on your own. See the squirrels on their own. Um, I feel like you feel much better on your own. Sending this news out. You know what? Bye-bye. I'll do much better on my own. Yep, going solo here. Knight of Cups being much more happier, fulfilled, peace and harmony. Moving forward. Yeah, you may be sending out that message and uh, releasing this person from your life, your energy in some way, shape, or form, and knowing you have much more opportunity for stable, grounded growth, expansion on your own, and being much more at peace and a loving, compassionate energy moving forward. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, that's your advice. That's your advice. Sorry, so now we'll do possible outcome. So if you tell this person, you know, bye-bye, I'm going to go solo. I'll be much better on my own. That's your advice, actually. Let's see what's your outcome. Hangman. So this is gaining a new perspective. Taking a break, a pause, a moment to think and ponder. Now. But the Wheel of Fortune is here to say this is divinely guided energy, fate, destiny, divine timing. You may have to think about, okay, what do I do now that I'm solo, I'm alone, I'm going solo. The Wheel is definitely here to say you're doing the right thing. Things are going to get better. Divine timing, destiny. Things going in a better direction. And you will be the Queen of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. So you start out as the King and you're still going to end up as the Queen of Wands. And then entrepreneurship kind of energy, owner, or whatever here, being that fiery, passionate go-getter. So you start out that way, and you're still going to end up that way. So I don't think there's any reason to worry, but I think there's somebody here that needs to be cut. It may even be more than one person out of your energy. I just don't feel a good energy around them. I mean, you do have the devil right there. I think you fear this person. You feel like you always have to protect you what you're creating or whatever you're doing here. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Ace of Wands. So there's your fiery, passionate new beginning, divinely guided. Three of Pentacles. So putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, learning something new. You may be training new people, bringing new, more uh, people in, but always being defensive and on guard, keeping a watchful look on this. You know, being a little bit of stress and worried about things, but another new beginning here of the Ace of Cups, divinely guided, of joy, happiness, bliss, fulfillment in every single way. Because with the Five of Cups here, you cut out that devil energy. You cut them out. You know, you said bye-bye. And uh, 
let them go. So now feeling much more balanced, much more balanced because released the burdensome energy and brought justice into your life and into your situation. So we have Libra. Let's see, we have Capricorn. So there's a devil energy showing up after all. We have, let's see. We have Leo Sag Aries. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Libra Gemini Aquarius, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Sagittarius Pisces, and Leo Sag Pisces, uh, Gemini, Leo Sag Aries. Oh my God. All right. So let's get some closing messages for you, Aquarius. Closing messages for you, Aquarius. I do ask if you're new, Aquarius, if you could check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I love to read the comments. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some closing messages. Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Exactly. Everything is going to be fine. Let's get from the bottom here. Sensitivity, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Exactly. Exactly. Inner goddess, Aphrodite, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So you are that inner goddess. All right. Let's get one more. Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Exactly. And I feel like you will make your mark. You will make your mark in this situation. And bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean, to recharge your batteries. So it may be a separate message for somebody that means anything to you. Okay, Aquarius, so best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.